Hallo, welkom. Welkom back to another Uncredit video. Welkom back to another unedited Souls and Survivors video. Where the Omen of Spring update was just released. I haven't played this game in like two weeks. I know that there's a bunch of new weapons to get, so I think that's what we're going to be doing first. Or let's do it one for each video. Starting off with Tempest Battle Axis for the Barbarian. Here we go. Overcharge Strike Unlocked. Critical damage chance, critical damage modifier, damage modifier, thundering slash. Pausing damage. Alright, so this is immediately in electric, an electric ability. So let's go for a little electric build then, shall we? Let's actually select the guy, select his new weapon. Looks very cool. We have the synergetic, we have everything we need. And let's also try to complete the event in the first map, right? And what we need for that is curse intensity 34, exactly what we're at already. Curse intensity 34, and I am. Um, I I don't know what's happening as much as you do. That that didn't come out right. Either way, as I said, I haven't played in two weeks, so I am not um, even completely sure about what the event is. But this is what I read: that there is a little heart, a little heart that you need to destroy. It was destroy, right? I think it is destruction. Seems to be very strong, so I don't know how we're actually gonna destroy it, but. We'll try. All right, there we go. We made a little dent in it. And if I'm not mistaken, after destroying this heart, I think a little Cupid will spawn. Ooh, they changed the colors. That's beautiful. That's really nice. Nice change. They also added a lot of new weapons, a lot of new enemies, I think. No new characters so far, but either way, that's nice. Also, a lot of new achievements for reaching prestige level 40 with a bunch of characters. So those are achievements I automatically received because I already had those prestige levels achieved in the past. All in all, just a bunch of new content, and we still have to look at a, look, a lot of them. They introduced the little icons in the tooltips. That's also very nice. Lock skill is also new. Interesting. It's as much as a it's just it's as much of a discovery today, a discovery playthrough as it is for you as it is for me. Damn, my words are uh, are not on time on on point. Holy shit, am I having a stroke? Maybe. Call 911. These are the new elite enemies, I guess, in the Whispering Grove map. It's actually quite similar to the previous event where they released a winter event focused mainly on the winter map. Now this event is focused mainly on this map with some additional new content for every single map, disregard regardless of maps, I think. And those are some new enemies as well. Chromatic Bolt for a change. Ah, interesting. So there really is a bunch of new stuff, huh? Come on, let's go. Damage increase for swing. I think we can go for that because we will probably try to pick up a bunch more swing abilities. We are not going for a bleed build so far, but that is the type of build that I would normally want to go for. So maybe shift our focus a little bit. But all in all, we're still in the early stages, which makes it A-OK -okay for us to still mess around a little bit. There we go. The heart is destroyed. Now what happens? Are we going to keep... I don't know if we're going to keep the chromatic bolt, so I'm not going to invest into that too much. Flurry. That's exactly what we want. Here we go. A little Cupid enemy. Uh, I don't think we want that to hit us, right? And it's immune. And now I read something about having it destroy towers or pylons. But if I'm not mistaken... It, they were towers with like a specific marking on them. So I don't know if just this will be good enough. What does it do? Oh, the tower is gone, so it doesn't matter. Let's see if we see any specific marked towers that seem to do, that seem to have something to do with the Valentine's event. I presume we're not gonna want to get hit by this, right? That's definitely one of them, right? That sound we just heard. Yep, here we are. Oh, and it's also immune. That makes it easier. So now all we need to do is just stand behind here. Did that hit? Yes, it did. It's nice that they have some sound indicators. It's quite a... It's not that easy. Especially not because the towers are not marked on your map. So you definitely need to move around a little bit. That's why I will go for another agile upgrade. And we also... Well, I, I almost forgot about those guys. Of course, we also just have our regular scheduled program. Like Alfred, the Fallen King. They are all here now, so I guess they deserve our focus for a second. Our locus of attention. These elites really are quick. It's a nice new little challenge. 
it's a nice new type of enemy a type of enemy where you need to react quickly because they are coming at you quickly as well let's focus the towers focus the lords and only then look at the valentine's love inspired event a little bit more it's awesome that they made this event especially for me because they know that my birthday is on valentine oh here we go here's another one of those towers so now let's try and get the valentine boss over to this side and then let's have him fire an arrow just like that stand over here for a while try to survive i didn't i did not hear a sound effect i think so i think we missed yes we definitely missed where is he can he fire an arrow i can't see him another noise all right now he's standing right in front of the tower there we go one more down and the other one spawned right down here all right and if i'm not mistaken it's only eight it's eight of those towers that you need to have him destroy uh -huh, the projectiles don't seem to travel through walls because otherwise that would have definitely triggered it so we need to have him move around a little bit in the meantime though the next set of lords is almost here and we've hardly put a dent in the ones that were already here so i think we definitely need to shift our focus for a second and make sure that we also don't die because to actually achieve the event goals you need to not die as well another little tower in the mix though there we go all right on to the next one bloodlust instead of the chromatic bolt yes please and i think we can also replace our primary ability still with something like scent of blood scent of blood if possible to up our attack speed even a little bit more and then we are in the domain of our regular old bleed builds that we normally build with our barbarians i'm interested to see what all the other characters will have in stock for us with their new weapons new abilities it's definitely always cool to see one of your favorite games get updated although as i said i have not been playing it much lately i've barely have ha i've barely had the time to play almost any games really lately and if i do have the time it's one league game together with my buddy in the or after work in the evening so i need to like make decisions if i then do have time to record i most of the time spend it on recording a noita video or editing noita videos as well that also takes up a bunch of my time so for soulstone there wasn't really that much that much room that much space in the schedule anymore that's also exactly why this video is gonna be just released like a regular old unedited video the backlog is so small that it is still gonna be new enough in terms of the update being released that i don't need to make it into a separate video like i did with the christmas event back then the backlog was like more than two weeks a video would have been recorded and then been uploaded almost eons later my kids were almost in college by the time our videos would have been uploaded but now it's different it's a lot different and it's the same for noita i have a bunch of noita episodes recorded but the editing that's where the bottleneck arises all things that i don't worry about right now though whenever i upload any video i'm just satisfied with myself i'm satisfied that i still find the time to do anything related to youtube considering the fact that i'm working a full-time job so i'm not gonna hold myself up to the highest standards standards or hold myself accountable too much when i don't necessarily get to the point of recording or to the upload schedule that in an ideal situation i would want to get to no i'm just vibing i'm rowing with the, the 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 things i have i don't know the english word i'm trying my best and it's still paying off dividends immensely because there's still a lot of influx of new survivors survivors of new subscribers especially because of the noita videos people still seem to enjoy them a lot although the backlog kind of made it a bit awkward there as well because my noita backlog is so big now that well often people give me a bunch of tips on how to play better and i appreciate that so much and i try to introduce those tips into my gameplay as soon as possible but because of the immense backlog some people feel like hey this guy is not even listening to us why would we giving more tips but in reality i am i it just the videos have not come to the point yet where i actually <laughs> introduce those tips into my gameplay on camera so that's the downside of having a backlog the upside is that i don't have to worry about whether i will get videos up in time and stuff because i'm just way ahead of the curve way ahead of schedule where are the other towers do we need to move around and in that way like discover them or do they just randomly arise i don't know 
it's a, a question I would like to have answered. I also hope that this event doesn't like introduce this immensely long end boss fight as well because I don't have the time for that. I have to go to work still later today. I've already had two clients this morning. Both conversations actually went really well. Quite satisfied with how they went. And now in the afternoon I have one client for sure. And one client is a bit um, of a doubtful case. I'm not sure whether she's actually gonna show up. She asked me to... Oh, there we go. She asked me to set up a new appointment with her. And then I proposed this moment today. But she never actually responded. So... I don't know if she's gonna show up today or not. It's actually quite annoying because, well, there we go. I'm gonna have to, of course, well, wait for the hour that our appointment would normally start. I'm gonna have to wait for that hour until she shows up or doesn't show up. But that means that I can go home after my one client. And if she then does not show up, well, then I will have sat at work an hour long for no reason at all. Which is also not like the worst thing in the world. I like my team and just chilling with them is very, very fun as well. But now that I finally have some time to invest in YouTube again, I definitely want to do so. I also need to re desperately finish off my series on the book Away From Burying. I need to record another WoW video, another World of Warcraft video, because that has been a while. Yeah, it's just been Noita, 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 and then leak, leak, leak. And there hasn't been time for anything else in my life lately. But I'm trying to uh, manage my time a bit to make sure that I have enough time to also rest after work days because I feel tired a bunch of times and I need I, I feel the need to actually chill out for a second. Sometimes just recording YouTube feels like too much of a hassle. Sometimes even just reading a book felt like too much of a hassle. And it's it's not you guys, it's me, don't worry. I still love all of you, don't worry about that. It's just my energy levels need to be on point because if I'm just sitting here almost dead talking way too softly without any energy in my voice that will not make for the most enjoyable content either and some of you might say wait isn't that the exact type of content you produce already to you i would say first of all fuck you second of all yeah all right good point hello mr valentine man oh, can you shoot another arrow please this should line it up perfectly i think yes sir I don't know how many we have already done by now. I am not keeping track, but I hope that just by doing as many as possible, we will definitely get the achievement. And then again, as I said, we need to get the victory to get the achievement. So we're still not completely sure whether we're going to do with this run. This should be about right, I think. Yes, sir. All right, we focused enough on the towers. Let's focus a little bit on surviving and killing some lords because otherwise it's going to get too insane over here. Some area effect, some damage increase, always comes in handy. We're still missing the scent of blood ability. We still have our primary ability that we don't really want to use. Normally for these bleed builds, we use the other weapon of the barbarian, which already introduces a bleed right from level one. And that's a skill that you can keep up until the late game because the bleed is so essential for your build. But right now this primary skill is not what we need at all. It's not necessary. Disregard those towers for a second. We're focusing on bosses, towers, surviving and leveling up. That's all we're focusing on. It feels quite weird to get back into the Soulstone Survivor's groove. I've really been putting this game on the back burner for a while already. Almost forgot how to play it. But as you can see, I am still uh, A-OK. -okay, I say as I am almost getting my revive popped. <laughs> And how have you guys been doing? That's a more important question. I wish you could answer. Then again, I would have to stream them. But that's something that I definitely, definitely don't have the time for right now. That's the biggest advantage of doing YouTube instead of streaming. You can just record, edit, upload whenever it fits your schedule. Whereas when you're streaming, you need to have a steady schedule that you can't really divert from. Because otherwise people will never watch your streams. So yeah, it's something for in the future, not for right now though. For right now, just enjoying the YouTube journey still, having a blast at 214 subscribers as of today, which is a beautiful, beautiful number. I'm very satisfied with that. And every single new person is always welcome as well. And very much appreciated. We have only killed four bosses so far. We need to step up our game. All right, five. That's one third of the way gone. That's already a bit better. But there's just so much going on on the ground here that it's quite hard to focus on the bosses. 
I think we are applying quite a lot of debuffs and that's nice so our build is working but the bosses are just a bit tanky because you can't forget that we are also playing on quite a high cursed level again we don't need this damage increase because we don't want to keep that skill we're still looking for scent of blood or just like anything that helps us a bit more really work has been busy lately it means that i have not had the time that i want or well it means that i have not invested as much time into youtube as i would have liked but then again don't feel left out because it also means that i haven't have in, had enough time to invest in things like running in things like being together with my girlfriend in things like reading reading books that has definitely been on the down low lately as well i haven't made enough time for that because in my free time in the weekends i am also doing other stuff like for example going out for other types of exercise or going out for a nice little quiz a nice little trivia quiz last weekend we ended up first in the first place we ended up winning the quiz and it was an amazing experience of course that's always fun not that we only go to win but it's always a nice added bonus of course Where are you, Mr. Valentine's guy? All right, right here. So that means that we... Oh, there goes our first revive. We're getting a bit ballsy to pop these towers. We did get it, though. I wonder if we will notice when we actually have enough for the achievement or whether we just need to clear all of them out and then they will stop appearing or something. So many questions. Frequency of the bloodlust skill. Yes, please. We don't actually have, like, a main damaging ability. Subdue, sure, but subdue doesn't really reach all that far, so that doesn't help us out all that much. We need, like, a very powerful ability, really. Powerful strikes in general is going to help us more than focus on the one ability I was just putting in the dumpster. So that's why I chose that right there. Me and my girlfriend have been watching a lot of Bob's Burgers episodes lately. Normally, it's a show that we like to watch when we are eating dinner or stuff like that, or late in the evening when we don't have enough energy left to consciously watch something to really really pay attention to what's happening but now i've actually taken the time to really pay attention to what was happening in the show and i've oh there we go was that it we unlocked the achievement we don't need to all right we don't even need to complete the run there we go there you have your guide of the <laughs> holiday event the valentine's day event just kill that heart in the bottom left on this map the third map the whispering grove and then use Cupid's arrows to destroy eight of those towers. Do it on curse level 34, then you will unlock all achievements at once. I think otherwise it's gonna be like an achievement for just completing it, an achievement for completing it at like curse level 24 or something, and then 34. I think it's something like that. Now, the real question can we also still finish this run with a victory? Because that's gonna be a bit difficult, I think. And we're gonna go for it either way. What I was saying is, I was more consciously invested in the, the in the Bob's Burgers episodes that we were watching. And I really, really fell in love with the show all over again. I loved every episode we were watching of it regardless, because it's just a very, very funny show. It's an animated cartoon. Some people are now already probably thinking, oh, so you watch children's shows. I get why you're thinking that, but no, it's actually... It focuses on some adult themes, but often in like a very light manner. Either way, it's actually quite a deep show sometimes. I I completely ballsed up there. I shit the bet a little bit. I was playing a bit too ballsly. I think I just wanted each event, to be honest, and I didn't really care about the victory in the end. But yeah, I think we completed all the hidden holiday achievements there. Can we see them here somewhere? No idea. Either way, I know that I can see them in my Steam achievements. Um, easy enough? Easy enough? There's a bunch of other achievements still available, I see. They added some new achievements, maybe. 202 out of 209. What do we not have yet? Craft. Oh, all right. So achievement for crafting all the weapons. And then here, almost 98%. We're really, really getting close. Thank you very much for watching. That's how you do the holiday event right now. You kill the heart in the bottom left. You use Cupid's arrows to destroy eight of those heart towers. And you do it on Curse Difficulty 35. Hope you enjoyed this short little snippet back into the Souls and Survivors world and I see you in, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.